Meet Vlad. Probably a couple of months old, definitely mischievous, but not at all what Shania Young and her boyfriend thought they were getting. I was thought I was getting a Sphinx kitten. When Young bought Vlad online for $800, he certainly looked like the rare hairless breed, but soon she knew something was wrong. He barely moved. He just sat with his head on the ground and all curled up with his tail underneath of his body and he just shook. Vlad had a serious infection in his tail, perhaps the vet said from a razor or chemical burn. As the young kitten grew more hair, it was confirmed. Young's hairless cat was not. Vlad is just a regular tabby, shaved bald, whiskers and all. I never fathomed in the world that someone would be sick enough to do something like that to a little innocent baby animal. There have been several other shaved cats, including a kitten named Stripes that was sold as a hairless sphinx to an Edmonton family. It wasn't long before they noticed she was covered in nicks and scratches. Within days, Stripes started sprouting hair and was well on her way to being fluffy. At best, a scam. At worst, pain and cruelty. This vet says shaving the cats hairless left them vulnerable to a host of issues, including serious skin infections but mostly trauma. My thoughts would be, would that be, it'd be more of a psychological concern. Alberta's SPCA says exotic breeds and online sales are a bad mix. Because people are willing to spend more money on these exotic, desirable breeds of cats or dogs, uh, it opens it up to fraud. The SPCA has now opened an investigation into the shaved cats. Fraud, it says, is outside its authority, so instead it will focus on the cruelty the kittens suffered. Shania Young hopes they'll be caught, so no other kittens will be abused for a buck. But as it turns out, Vlad is a perfect fit for her family. We fell in love with them. Hair and all. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Black Falls, Alberta.